Well, hello. I think this is my first video of the new year. I think. Man, I'm like, as I get older, I'm losing more and more of my memory. So, but anyway, I uh, wanted to uh, say Happy New Year in case it is my first uh, video of the year. Uh, but I lost another two pounds this week and I uh, just wanted to um, put this video out there as an encouragement to be able to help you all see that it's not a it's not a race you know it's just a it's a day by day reclaiming your life and uh, taking back control of what you have given power to for so long and I know for me it was food you know and uh, since starting this journey um, beginning of December I have, you know, just been so thankful because I realize that I'm not as weak as I thought I was, you know, and I think that hurts a lot of people. They get to that point where they just feel too weak, too hopeless, and uh, so they just want to give up. But just know that you don't have to give up. You only give up because you choose to give up. You know, um, beginning of the year, a lot of people make New Year's resolutions to lose weight. And uh, sometimes they get into three, four, or five days of it and they don't see the amount of weight they want to drop within that amount of time and they give up. You don't have to give up. You know, um, weight loss is not easy, but it's not going to be as easy to lose the weight as it was, as easy it was to put on the weight. So just, it's, it's a day by day thing. You know, you're going to have your highs, you're going to have your lows, but anytime you allow the scale number to dictate if you're going to quit or not, you're setting yourself up for future failure and other things. So my best advice for you this year is maintain the course and just continue to move forward. Uh, knowing that, you know, God is every day that God gives you life, every day that God gives you breath, it's another opportunity, another day to achieve something huge. And I'm choosing to use every single day that God has given me as a day to reduce the amount of weight that I have on me, to take in life, and to be able to be happy again. You know, I mean, I, I'm, not, I'm a happy guy, but I was not always 100% happy. But now I can, I'm starting to see physical weight loss on my body, and I'm feeling great. And I've been here before. I've lost this amount of weight before. and But then I allowed circumstances to come in to, uh, to bring depression upon me. And I vow to learn from that. Now, Scripture says, it's a paraphrase, the things that happen are going to happen again. So... I look at that as like the things that we go through, the hardship, they're going to happen again. But the way that we respond to those hardships greatly determines the outcome. So my weight gain before, my weight loss before, I allowed distractions to uh, get in my way and to bring depression upon me and for me to gain the weight back. This time around, I need to learn from those moments before. See, God doesn't waste anything. If you know anything about the scriptures, especially in the New Testament, when Jesus fed the 5,000, he, he um, got the disciples to gather up all the remains. He didn't say just leave them there. He didn't say throw them away. There was a reason. So that same thing applies to our life. There's a reason uh, that we go through things. And there's a reason we're going to have to go through those things again. So when you do have to go through those struggles and hardships again, if you just tap into your mind and say, hey, this is how I responded before and I want to do it differently. You can do the same thing, but you can have a different response. So my goal for you this year is to continue to move forward. God bless you.